Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney's Bay Lake Tower and we are going to be doing a special preview for the brand new Top of the World Lounge Villains Lair. I am so excited. If you didn't know, there is a special lounge at the very top of Bay Lake Tower that has this unbelievably amazing view of Magic Kingdom and they recently redid it a Villains Lair and it's going to have Villains themed drinks and food items and Disney invited us out to give you guys all the details. So we're going to have a beautiful Bay Lake Tower tower kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. And here it is, all the way on top of Bay Lake Tower, the top of the world lounge of Villainous Lair. Look at it all the way up there. And some people have said this is the best place to watch the Magic Kingdom fireworks. And I can agree with that. I really think it's such an amazing perspective. Tonight, we are going to be able to sample some of the new villains' food and drinks. And I am so excited that they're giving villains more attention. I always want to see more villainous things here at Disney World. And then we're going to stick around and we're going to watch Disney's Enchantment from the Top of the World Lounge. And I'm so excited that it's opening up again. This has been closed for quite some time. And while they were closed, that's when the villains took over. And I love that Disney actually gave it a little bit of a story. If you actually head to Disney Vacation Club's website, they will give you a backstory. The Top of the World Lounge, a villain's lair atop of Bay Lake Tower, will reopen July 11, 2022. And then you click backstory here, and it tells you, <laughs> discover the untold story of this covert hideout for some of Disney's most dastardly villains, even the ruthless relax. And I love that. Like, you know what I mean? I love that it's well-themed and there's a story. Now, just like before, this is something that is exclusive for Disney Vacation Club members and their families and friends. And uh, it's open from 6 p.m. till midnight. And all you have to do is check in where you would normally check in at. It is first come, first serve. And you have to show them your DVC member ID and a photo ID. And uh, if you go up, you go up. I mean, it's a really amazing thing. If, and if you know anything, if you've ever been up there before, you know what I'm talking about. We're gonna head right on into the resort now so we can start checking everything out and get a little bit more information about it. And I am just so pumped for this. Like, I love Disney villains. I love Disney villains so much, I'm actually wearing my Ursula Roosevelt shirt. So I'm hoping that they have some Ursula inspired like things up there. And look at this shirt, isn't it fancy? I have stayed here at Disney's Bay Lake Tower a couple of times and I just love it here. It is such an amazing resort. It's so beautiful and they have so many different amenities like the Top of the World Lounge. They also have a private beach, a little fire pit area. They even have a pool with a Mickey water slide and I just, it's just really amazing. If you guys have ever got the chance to visit the Top of the World Lounge, please let me know in the comments what you guys think about the changes. You know, I used to love coming here. They had an amazing cake here, so I'm excited to see if they brought that cake back. And also, they had a lot of cool drinks. Like, they had a monorail drink and stuff like that. So I'm very excited to see what they did with the menu. But I also like to hear what other people think. You know what I mean? So let me know in the comments if you improve on the changes or just your overall thoughts about the experience. The reason I think the Top of the World Lounge at Bay Lake Tower has a better firework view than California Grill is because it's closer to Magic Kingdom. Like you'll see, here is the Contemporary Resort. And then right on this side, you can see Cinderella Castle there. And right here is the Top of the World Lounge right there. So you get a much better view, a better, uh, better perspective. Ooh, and there goes a monorail. Sorry, everyone gets excited when they see a monorail. Since we have a couple minutes until the event starts, I thought it would be fun to actually head over to Disney's Contemporary Resort and go up to the very top of that resort and show you what the Top of the World Lounge looks like from over there. Because it is really awesome and you have to be like up high to be able to see it. And there it is, Disney's Bay Lake Tower. See, you can see it a little bit better from here. And right here is the new villain's lair. And I cannot wait to go check it out. And you can also see some lightning in there. It's a beautiful day out today, but you can see some storms. And I just love staring out at Magic Kingdom. And I can't wait to be over there looking at it. And tonight when we watch the fireworks, it's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be beautiful. 
All right, it is now time for us to head on up. And I'm so excited, and it started raining out. Like, it started downpouring. So, I'm not too sure how the fireworks are going to be tonight, but it kind of adds to that villain's feel. You know what I mean? There's lightning, rain, and we're going to a villain's lair. I mean, it's kind of fitting. It's a little bit loud, but it's time to actually check in. And I'm so excited. Looks like I got myself a little Hades headband. I don't know how well it's gonna fit on the fedora. I might have to take it off. Oh, I'm bald, but wait, wait. I just don't think this looks good. I just, <laughs> I just don't think it looks good. <laughs> I actually like it this way a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, this way's a little bit better. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> now I look like uh, a seven dwarf right here. <laughs> that is really cool that they gave everybody ears and they have Hades and Malvicent. Kyle, that actually fits you perfect. It fits you well too. No, no, but it fits you good. It fits you perfect. <laughs> oh, no, then? Let's go. Wow. I'm excited. How was it, great? Wonderful. It was fantastic. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? Lightning as soon as we got up to the top of the 16th floor here. Little villainous. <laughs> I'm so excited. Here we go. We're going to be some of the first people in here right now. Oh, listen to the lightning. This is the, oh, 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 wow. Can you hear the creepy music? The, the, can you like hear the evil music? And then they have candles that'll be lit right here. Hi friends, how are you? Oh boy, the lightning is perfect. Oh, I love it. Thank you, good sir. Oh, thank you. Very brave of you to come by. Wow, it looks amazing in here. I am beyond excited right now. Coming up to Villain Slayer. I'm so excited. You have heard about all the villainous things that have happened here. I hear that the villains have taken over. Yeah, and, and of course I want to not only commend your bravery for coming up to, to Villain Slayer, sight unseen, not knowing anything about it, but also your patience as a DVC member because when Disney first started opening up, we came up here, we wanted to open up and talk to the world. Yeah, of course. Oh it was a mess. It was a mess. <laughs> we had to replace all the furniture. Hmm? The villains have walked up the park, slashed the drapes. It was just horrific. Wow. We have been working all this time to put this venue back together for your enjoyment. We've got a uh, food set up on the bar for you. I'm gonna grab you some silverware. All right. We've got some, some fabulous bark and evil uh, sparkling there. Take a look at our drinks. I, I highly recommend the man in the forest. If oh, that sounds good. If you are a bourbon good. lover, that That's is good for you. Fancy. This fe features the Widow Jane bourbon, which is the number one uh, rated bourbon in the, in the world. Uh, wow. Batch is sweetened with a Madeira. Nice sweet flavors to start, bold bourbon flavor to finish. It's truly chilling. I'm excited. <laughs> right, take a look. If you, I'm going to get your silver. If you have any questions when I come back, also take a look and see if you can figure out which villain left us which recipe. All right. Now, I am going to tell you, I can neither confirm nor deny because I don't want him to come after me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want him either. <laughs> look at this really awesome. Look at what they did over in this corner. This was my favorite place to come and sit when it was just a regular top of the world lounge. Now it's been vilified. I love it. And there's Ursula, just like my shirt. This is really, really cool. Lots of different villains in here. Hades. Too cool. I am very impressed already. Like this is really, really cool. So we're gonna go around, look at some things, check out some of the details, and then maybe get a drink. So far, I do have to say I'm a big fan of the new furniture in here and just the design. I like that some of the chairs actually swivel around like this. Look at this. Very, very evil. 
we are gonna dive in and try some of the food. I am so excited. They have a wonderful spread here, and I'm so excited to see the cake is here. Here is a look at some of the food that they're gonna be offering. We've got the unfortunate soles and shrimp. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited because you know I'm wearing my Ursula shirt, so I was happy that they have that. They have a cosmic power flatbread, the Empress charcuterie board, the seven layer cake. There it is. I was so excited to get that twisted tails pretzel, which absolutely looks amazing. The tomatoes of terror flatbread. I like that name. Who's afraid of the pork belly sliders? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Oh, that one's good. <laughs> then we got some layer made hummus. This is too good. I mean, I'm loving this. Wow. Oh, wow. We get to try all of them too. So they have little cut up pieces and little samples. This is going to be such a great day. I'm so excited. I'm so happy to be back here and being able to try all of this amazing food and show you guys. This is really cool. <laughs> I'm very, very excited. Let's take a look at some of the cocktails like she showed in the menu. And also, I love this menu. Like, <laughs> this is such a great menu. Here is a look at some of the crafted concoctions. They've got the Tower Trap, the Cursed Pirate, Man in the Forest, the Other Side, Mirror Mirror Moonshine, and then the Underworld. They also have some Zero Proof mocktails. They have the Queen's Garden and the Lion's Uncle. Remember I was telling you guys that they had a cool monorail mocktail? Well, they actually got rid of it, but I think these mocktails might kind of be like it. So, oh yeah, I, th I think the Lion's Uncle is kind of like it. And then they've got some bubbling brews, and then here are all the appetizers that I just showed you. So, very, very cool. Oh, and also, some wicked wines. I'm actually here with Tim and Jen Tracker, and they got some of the mocktails. The Lion's Uncle, that's the one you got, Jen, right? Yes. Orange Sherbert, Sprite, and Grenadine. And how do you like it? It's, it's pretty good. So I think this one you need to mix it up because it has the sweetness at the bottom. This is like soda water, and then the Sherbert at the top. So Ooh. it's really better if you mix it, but... They said it's their take on a Shirley Temple. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty. Yeah, it is. Like, kind of like blood. Scar. Right? Yeah. Scar. <laughs> and then Tim, what'd you get? Orange shortbread, but I don't know what it would be though. Maybe that's like the the uh, the lion's uh, uh, what you call it mane. That yeah, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> and then what you got? This one was the Queen's Garden. Queen's Garden. This has something in it called Seedlip, which is a non-alcoholic quote-unquote liqueur. Oh. So it's what they would use to replace the alcohol in a month. Well, it's very fancy. And you like it? It's good. <laughs> Ish. Ish. That's a no. It does. It tastes like it tastes like a garden. It tastes like a garden. Not the flower. Oh yeah. Well, it makes sense. A Queen's Garden. <laughs> It actually looks like there's some villains outside trying to get in. Look at this. Look at this. This is hysterical. I will let them in. Oh, I see them. It's raining out there, too. It's lightning. <laughs> Smee! It's me! It's you! <laughs> and is that Scar? Oh, well, very fancy. <laughs> Uh, Smee is a villain, I guess. I'm happy to see him, though. <laughs> yeah, who's ready to get villainous? Yes! It's even better than I thought. This is going to be the best villains convention ever. No one is wearing I thought that that was Smee and Scar running in, but... They're just bounding because they thought that they, they thought this was the Disney villains convention. So they just just happened to stumble in. Oh, maybe we got special menus. Oh. oh. Hold on. Go to the Disney villains this convention. is the Disney villains convention. Yes. 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 yes the Disney villains convention. No, there should be a volcano of chocolates where they dip in the minions. What, what's going on? It said DVC outside. DVC, yes? What does that mean? Disney Villains Convention. What did you say? Say it loud right now. Disney Vacation. I told you. <laughs> Sam, I said Disney Vacation Club. It's his fault. 
He was like, yeah, no, all right, so. It's so they're gonna be bringing out the drinks for us to try and holy moly, like they look phenomenal. The moonshine, I'm so, like, I'm so impressed with the actual presentation and it's got like a tea foam on it and uh, it's got a sage infused moonshine. Like that is fancy. So I think we're gonna start with that one. Mm. Here, wow. Here it's a deconstructed lemonade. You've got that beautiful uh, on the bottom, the evil foam on the top. We recommend that you mix the evil with the good. Oh, okay. Drink it up. Nice. All right, I'm gonna mix this around a little bit. I would try it on its own, but I feel like I would just get like straight, like moonshine, which that would not be good. Let me see. I'm just gonna do it like that a little bit. And here we go. Cheers. Cheers to the mirror, mirror moonshine. That's delicious. For moonshine? That's dangerous. Delicious. This is your man in the forest. Oh wow. Now this contains Widow Jane bourbon. Are you familiar with the Widow Jane? Yeah, it's very good bourbon. Yeah, it's, it's it just one number one small batch bourbon in the world. Wow. This is sweetened with a 10 year old Madeira. You're going to have beautiful sweet notes in the beginning. That strong bourbon flavor in the end is a killer. <laughs> it's a killer. You, you're good you. <laughs> So cheers to the man in the woods. Cheers. Ooh, that is good. Very smooth. Very smooth. You can taste the ginger and the baking spices in there. I like it. Something fun I found out about the man in the woods. Uh, it has two different meanings. Number one, man in the woods is referred to as the hunter in the movie Bambi, which is a very terrifying name for a drink, but also they used to use Man in the Woods to describe when Walt Disney was coming. So isn't that kind of cool? So like whenever like Walt Disney was heading on his way in, they used to be like, Man in the Woods, Man in the Woods. So everyone you know, was shaping up. And I like that about it. Now I think this might be my favorite drink be just because of that. Another thing I want to point out, they keep on changing the pictures here on the TV and they're playing like villains music in here and I love that. Like I feel like I'm at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. It's, it's very fitting. As long as they keep on playing the evil jams, I'm all about it. I am so excited that they kept the monorail background here. That monorail was the best. Have you been up here before? Yeah? First time. It's beautiful, isn't it? And I love it now, it's even better. Like I really do, I like the villain's touch. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, and, and this is this life of ours. I'm June. And June is here. is here. Yeah, where's she at? Oh, well that's, I mean, hey, hey. One of us had to be One of us. <laughs> I think the first thing I'm gonna try is the who's afraid of the pork belly sliders. I keep on wanting to sing that. Who's afraid of the pork belly sliders? You know what I mean? And I'm I'm comfort. House made pickles on it too. So here we go. Oh wow. That is very good. Honestly, these sliders are phenomenal. I am so excited that we get to try all this food, but I would definitely order this again. Like it's a, the pork belly is just really top notch. Top notch here. The thing that I have been most excited for is got to be this seven layer cake dough. This is a staple up here. And when they, you know, when it closed, I was so sad that I couldn't get it. They had it down at the Wave for a little bit, but then once it switched over to Steakhouse 71, they uh, converted over to the cake that they have there now. But honestly, this one is better. To me, it is way better. I hope it is as good as I remember. So here we go, seven layers. Amazing. Up next, I think I really need to try the Tomatoes of Terror. Just because I like the name. Tomatoes of Terror flatbread. It reminds me of like a Simpsons episode. The Tomatoes of Terror. That's good. Very robust. <laughs> We might as well just keep moving along and now I think I'm gonna try the unfortunate soul shrimp. But I do wanna say, the seven layer cake has been changed to layer, like as in villain's layer. But out of all the things I'm probably most excited is to try the unfortunate souls. I mean, besides the seven layer cake. 
and like I said, it's got like a little green and blue tint to it, but Disney's been making the shrimp very colorful, like, of recent, and I like it. So here we go. Unfortunate souls. You poor unfortunate shrimp. Oh, wow. As far as I know, you'll have to ask the real Smee that. I know. I, I feel like you're doing a great job as Smee, though. I'm just pretending. Why did you pick me? Why did I? Well, because I think he's the most misunderstood Disney villain. He's not really a villain. That's, That's what, what you said. That's what I said. Thank you. She said that. Thank you. <laughs> we are now in the in the Smee Lovers Club. <laughs> we are the Smee Lovers Club. I'm the vice president. No, no, you can be president. <laughs> Uh, That's so Smee to say that, too. I'll just clean up and everything. When somebody's like, hey, what the movie is, that's my Oh, I know how to play this game. Okay. Okay, um... It's this one. I can't, I can't say... Yeah, it's my favorite villain. You're allowed to Hades. Yeah, look at that boy, look at that. You, you know me so well, Smee. <laughs> you know me, Smee. <laughs> All right. Why did I just look at him? I see what he's doing. And, and... Okay, put those two words together. Clayton! Clayton! You got it! I don't know. I don't know what Clayton is. Who is Clayton? Clayton is from, uh... Clayton's from the car. Okay. Alright. Here, we'll do another one. Let's do another one. Oh, she's, she's, <laughs> she's definitely not the mom you would want. Oh, that's good. Not the Cinderella's mom? Uh, yeah. Is she the, she the evil stepmom? What's her name? Uh, yes. Uh, so not, not, not a gentleman, but a Lady Tremaine. There you yes! Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta go do this. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh yeah! <laughs> all the answers. <laughs> now, a couple of things I do want to point out. I did find out that only direct DVC members are going to be allowed to access this lounge. So if you buy DVC, not through Disney Vacation Club, you're not going to actually be able to come up here with your membership. And also, the villain uh, bounding that they're doing, that's not going to be here on a regular basis. That's for special events. They, they are selling special villains tickets for this stuff, uh, for this lounge and also for tonight but it's still cool to point it out you know what I mean when we were first arriving at the villains lair uh, it was storming out and now it looks like the rain is gone so we're gonna be able to watch the fireworks tonight and this is the view that we get and look at this isn't it beautiful and they're they're pumping like villainous music out that is amazing I mean once the fireworks start they're gonna actually start doing like enchantment music they pump out the the, the music for the fireworks but I cannot wait to watch the fireworks it's beautiful out look at this amazing right oh look there goes a monorail <laughs> Twelve dozen. You knew this, Tim. You, you, that's that was my clue. <laughs> that's why. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why the eggs are so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> that's too expensive. Oh yeah. Oh. Look at this fanciness. As we were playing uh, some Disney trivia, uh, our waitress actually brought us out another drink: the Underworld, a handcrafted traditional Spanish uh, sangria, white sangria with peach puree and orange liqueur. Look at that. Now we're gonna be trying the Underworld, and this is much more, like I said, a sangria drink. Oh, and that's very delicious. The sangria is very, very nice. Out of all three of the drinks, I do have to say, I probably like the Man in the Woods the most. Like, that's really good, but the Moonshine one, the Mirror Mirror Moonshine, Actually, I'm going to go with that one as my favorite. The Mirror Mirror Moonshine. And I wasn't ordering any of them. They were actually just bringing them out. But it's really good to be able to sample them and try them. The sangria is very delicious, though. Very, very refreshing. Now I think it's time we head out on the balcony. And we're going to watch Disney's Enchantment. I'm so excited. We're going to see this beautiful firework view. And so far, I've been really loving <laughs> the, the, the villain's lair. The shrimp, hands down, 
one of my favorite things. That shrimp is so phenomenal. Of course, like I said, the seven layer cake, but man, I'm gonna be dreaming about that shrimp. I decided to grab the lion's uncle, which is one of the mocktails here, and it looks really refreshing, so I'm gonna take it with me, and we're just gonna stand out here and uh, get ready for the fireworks. Look at that. What a stormy, beautiful night. They also give you some really magical uh, spectacles, magical, magical spectacles to watch the fireworks, and uh, it makes all of the fireworks first look like little Mickeys. So it's gonna be exciting.
Well, that was very nice. It was nice to see that view again. It was a little bit cloudy or smoky out, which kind of added to the effect, but on a clear sky, it's very amazing up here. Even like I said, this show was really good. And I love, I, like I said, I love watching the fireworks from up here. To see these fireworks, like on a special event night, like on New Year's Eve or 4th of July and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure they sell separate tickets. Like this is a very popular spot for those nights. Even for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party because they have like the 360 or 180 fireworks and they are doing special events for those nights actually too honestly a villain's lair isn't complete without a bowl full of poison apples just sitting here <laughs> how cool is that i really really like that and with that i think we are done here what a fantastic day don't forget let me know what you guys think in the comments below what you think about the changes for me i think it's an amazing upgrade i mean especially if you love villains you know what i mean anything that has a theming behind it i am all for it you know what i mean and especially things that they don't get rid of like i don't want to see them get rid of anything i want them to make it better and that's what i feel like they did here at uh, the top of the world lounge so thank you again to disney for inviting me out it's always great to get the coverage to show you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it We'll see you next time. Bye.